the event with the lighting of a lamp, traditionally believed to bring prosperity, good health, and positivity. May I please request Parat San, Frank San, Masumoto San, Vora San, Fuji San, Mukesh San, Daraya San, Kanako San, Satya San, and Mehul San to come on stage for the lamp lighting ceremony. Oh, good question. Welcome Shruti and team, who are Nritra Pranya artists, to present a few traditional dance pieces performed in a Bharatnatyam recital. The first is Ganesh Vandana, followed by Devi Stuti, and ending with Abhanga. Shruti will also give us a detailed description of each of these dance forms. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. A very good evening to all of you. Today, we will be beginning with a Ganesh Vandana, which is a shloka in praise of Lord Ganpati. It goes like, Gajananam, O elephant-headed Lord, Bhuta Ganadi Sevitam, the one who is served by the celestial attendants, Kapitha Jambu, Phala Sara Bhakshitam, the one who is fond of fruits like the wood apple and the berries. Uma Sutam, the son of Mother Uma. Shoka Vinashakaranam, the one who destroys all sorrows and difficulties in our paths. We pray at your feet, O Lord Ganesha, please bless us which will be followed by a traditional piece called Alarapa. In Tamil, Alarapa means a flowering bud. So it's an invocatory piece presenting Ganesh Vandana followed by Alarapa. Thank you. 
destroyed Mahishasura, the demon who had a buffalo face. So this also symbolizes winning over the inner chains of desires that we have in a way, presenting Devi Stuti, which will be followed by a Marathi devotional poem called An Abhanga, which is in praise of Lord Vithala, where you will see the devotees who are walking uh, and going to Pandharpur to meet their Lord and seeking His blessings, presenting Devi Stuti followed by Abhanga. (laughs) 
me introduce you to the artists of today. That is Sarika Rahane and Mosmi Padwad. I would also like to thank Mr. Vyas for inviting us here today and letting us be a part of this wonderful event that is happening. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for a beautiful performance, Shruti and team. Um, I now request Farad San to please come on stage for the welcome speech. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's with great pleasure that I welcome you all this evening. First, a very special welcome to my colleague, friend, and business partner, Fumito Shinkawa-san, who we all refer to as Frank-san. So, please. As you know, um, Shinkawa-san is from our partner company, Shinkawa Denki, Shinkawa Electric Company in Japan. Thank you for making this visit personally with your five colleagues, Matsumoto-san, who is really one of the founders of this relationship. And I'll explain why. Fuji-san, Oishi-san, Hiro-san, and Kanako-san. And all of them are here to celebrate 40 years of close association and partnership. We also have my senior colleagues from Forbes Marshall here who have been a part of this long-standing association and several of our important customers here with us today as well. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Some of you have traveled especially to Pune for this event and we're very grateful to you for doing so. Our association with Shinkawa began in 1983, somewhat by accident. I had just started working at Forbes Marshall about a year earlier, and we were at that stage interested in developing our product portfolio. This was way before liberalization. Uh, we were still in a very controlled economy, and you had to manufacture everything yourselves here in India. And we were looking at adding a product which was a differential pressure transmitter into our product line. And we found a Japanese company called Hokushin, and we worked out an arrangement with them to manufacture the product uh, in partnership in, in Pune. And my colleague, Mr. Vora, Kiran Vora, who's here as well, will remember uh, what we went through at that time. And just when we had worked everything out, Hokushin got acquired by Yokogawa. And everything stopped as a result. And, and subsequent to that, we discovered uh, that there was a small company in Japan, which was Shinkawa, and they had an association with Yokogawa. And we said, well, maybe we can, through Shinkawa approach Yokogawa to see if we could continue that relationship and develop something. So I had the f opportunity of visiting Japan in 1983. It was my first visit. And at that time, I met Frank Shinkawa's father, Mr. Fumiho Shinkawa, and Mr. Matsumoto in Tokyo. 
And that was our first meeting. And at that meeting, they said, well, no, we can't really, we only represent Shinkawa, uh, uh, J uh, Yokogawa in a part of Japan, but we can't really sell their products uh, in India. But he said, we make our own product, and our own product is a vibration sensor. And would you be interested in seeing if you could sell those products for us in India? We had no clue what a vibration sensor was at that time. And we said, well, we would learn and we'd find out what would be the applications and where we could sell them. And then subsequent to that began a series of visits by us to Japan. We have Mr. Bapat here who came in much, a little later, but then we have, we had many, many visits of Matsumoto-san along with Mr. Shinkawa-san to India, trying to see how they could educate us, educate our market for condition monitoring, vibration monitoring, for protection of rotating machines. Over those years, we developed our friendship, cemented our relationships. Matsumoto-san and Shinkawa-san Sr. attended Rati's and my wedding. And many years later, Shinkawa-san, Frank-san, and Fuji-san attended our daughter's wedding as well. And over those years, they introduced us to Japan, Japanese culture, and the rich heritage which that country offers. And it took pretty much 20 years before we got our first big order. And it's really patience, perseverance, and trust that really was the cornerstone of the relationship. And that perseverance and patience has paid off. Our Shinkawa business today is one of our largest businesses in Forbes Marshall. And India is among Shinkawa's top two markets globally. So that shows that if you do the right things um, patiently and do it correctly, you can be successful. But this has come as a result of the support we have received from customers like you. And we most sincerely thank you for your trust and relationship that we have between us. I'd like to say a few comments, make a few comments now about the relationship, the Shinkawa Forbes Marshall relationship. What makes it special? First, both of us are family owned businesses. Frank San is the third generation, and we are truly pleased, Kanako San, that you are now the fourth generation in the business. My brother Naushad and I are second generation. If we consider that our father, Darius Forbes, Sr., who in 1946 started this part of the original J.N. Marshall business that our mother's father, Mr. J.N. Marshall, had established 20 years prior to that in 1926. And now our children, Rhea and Darius Jr., are both now actively engaged in the business too and represent the third generation. What is unique about family-owned businesses? I'd like to say a few words about that. First, we take a long-term view. We think in generations not in quarters, as many non-listed, as many listed non-family firms do. And this reflects in all key decisions, whether it's in how we develop the product portfolio, how we view investment in R&D, how we view our HR policy, the selection and development of people. And as a result, with the long-term view, you also have stability in management. And finally, you have a certain sense of financial prudence because we're dealing with our own money. We like to say that we take prudent risks which leads to long-term stability. And finally, we learn how to manage 
the paradox of both tradition, where you preserve tradition, you preserve your culture, you preserve your heritage, but at the same time, you can be highly innovative as well. And I hope that you see that in some of our products and our offerings. And then the second characteristic of family-owned business is trust, besides, besides family-owned business, in our Shinkawa Forbes Marshall relationship, is the trust and commitment that we have to each other. The fact that our relationship yielded financial result only after nearly 20 years of continued and close engagement, constant exchange of visits at both the operational business level and also the personal family level is testament to this. These same features of the relationship that exists between our companies also translate into how both Shinkawa and Forbes Marshall handle relationships with our customers. The long-term view and trust and commitment ensures that customers are fully satisfied, that we must provide value to them, and only through that value that we get our business. My colleagues who we'll hear from later will speak more about this in due course. Thank you once again for joining us here this evening. And before I hand over to Frank Sun, I would like to also acknowledge, uh, you know, we recognize some of our key members of Forbes Marshall uh, in our sales team and in our Shinkawa team uh, who have contributed to the development of this relationship. But we didn't recognize one person. And that person is Mukesh, Mukesh Vyas. So thank you, thank you, Mukesh. Thank you for building this relationship uh, to the level that it is today. Thank you very much. And may I now ask Frank San to say a few words as well. Thank you. Oh, the small video first, OK.
Thank you. Uh, may I please request Frank San to please come on stage to talk about the history of the partnership and um, our outlook for the Indian market going forward. Thank you. Sabako, Baft, Baft, Namaste. My name is Humito Shinkawa, President of CEO Shinkawa Electric Company in Japan. First of all, I would like to to contribute, contri uh, sorry, contribute of Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa Electric for the 40 years in our partnership. I feel so honored and grateful to be able to be present at the Memo Abro great celebration of their two companies. We are so excited to be able to celebration this day. Not only with Mr. Farad Forbes, but also with employee from Forbes Marshall and our customers. We would like to express our gratitude of the study efforts of the employees and the support of our customers, including those who are participating in the event. Could you please look at the screen? Now, let me sh show you a little about the history of Shinkawa and Forbes Marshall. This is my grandfather. When the company started 1927, the picture of my grandfather. And this logo, he have five sons. The five sands corners, one, two, three, four, five. So the five corner of the diamond represent each of the five sands that together. So 1950, start of public of India. This similar time, 1951. 
So, change the company name, Shinkawa Electric. Nine fifty-seven. So, India first of Prime Minister, so Nelson, Mr. Nair come to Japan, also in the Hiroshima. When I was a primary school kid, Mr. Nair also visit so Hiroshima, and uh, I remember having attended the welcome to parade. I wave flag of India and Japan. Mr. Nell, first India person I had to see. I was 1983 when Mr. Kotaro Matsumoto met Mr. Farad Forbes at the New Otani Hotel, first time in Japan. Mr. Matsumoto, the general manager that time he comes so Mr. Matsumoto so he is very young after a while my father who be he Shinkao was invited to India, met Mr. Darius Forbes, Mr. Farad Forbes' father. That triggered our partnership. The rest is a history. The development and the growth of Forbes Marshall business from then to day was being wonderful for which we are deeply grateful. When we are also ourselves nineteen ninety one Chicago representative always open after nineteen ninety four Shinkawa sensor technology was uh, established is uh, established as a factory in Hiroshima, 2000, SEC America in start with business. And then 2001, Shinkawa, Singapore was established. Next, 2004, Shinkawa, Shanghai, Established. And then Sinkawa Petram, 2021. And then this year, SEC Malaysia. So this year is a Prime Minister. Mr. Modi san came to Hiroshima for G7 summit and 
shake hands with uh, our Prime Minister, Mr. Kishida. Kishida was also born in Hiroshima. Now we are here today. The grand, grand <coughs> general generation change, and it's our turn now between Mr. Farad Hobbes and myself to stay for the future. Moving into the new era, era of our partnership, we will do our best together with Forbes Marshall to contribute to India society and be loved by our customers, we will create new technologies given inspiration and customer-oriented product for the future. So uh, we will uh, continue to maintain a good uh, relationship. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the evening. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you, Frank San. It was lovely to see Shinkawa's 96 years in business. May I now request Tom San, Masumoto San, and Mukesh San to speak about our new products. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving a, a nice speech, uh, Mr. Forbes and uh, Mr. Shinkawa. And uh, <clears throat> congratulations for 40th uh, anniversaries for relationship. And uh, then thank you very much for the, all the stakes, uh, valuable customers. I very appreciate and also our members, you know, all the, you know, the related uh, force marshal members. See, <clears throat> uh, last year, you know, we had the good uh, the business, and then probably this year is going to be a hit record. Uh, now, uh, I knew the reason why we got, we got the new, uh, the big uh, business. That is why uh, I met all the in to just people and energetic, and this country is very, very uh, developed. Uh, every year, you know, the, I came here, you know, every year, and every year has, uh, you know, the lot of building, and, and then uh, the economy is rapid, fast. Uh, I believe next year is going to be a hundred percent more business. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me do uh, some uh, presentations. Uh, see. Uh, uh, here is, you know, voyage to futures. Uh, 
some uh, Shinkawa introductions and uh, business uh, product, uh, products roadmap, next generation monitoring. We are going to launch some uh, next generation monitors and plus we have some you know, the, uh, new ideas and, and then applications proposal by Mukesh BS, okay? Uh, we had a TSI, Turbine Supervisory Instrumentation, in Japan uh, 50 years ago. And uh, uh, we started the direct exports to foreign countries in 2000. But, you know, the, of course, you know, the indirect, we had a lot of the exporting the business. But, you know, the, we became so uh, the serious about the international business. Uh, since 2000. And uh, analysis and uh, diagnosis software launched in 2010. It is not only a protection shutdown for TSI, as TSI, but also, you know, the, uh, the diagnosis. And then, and then uh, we had uh, the wireless vibration sensors 2015 and then which we can cover the BOP areas as well. Uh, and then uh, uh, we promoting uh, smart maintenance uh, 2021. Uh, this one is uh, Japanese government, you know, the uh, implemented uh, or the, you know, the kind of this new concept to the every uh, industries. Uh, and then also we did, you know, the right now is uh, promoting the DX, uh, the progress, uh, digital um, the things, okay? Uh, as Mr. Shinkawa has introduced, that's, uh, you know, the, we have uh, Grover, you know, the, the office, uh, U.S. and Shanghai, and uh, Singapore, and Malaysia, Vietnam, and, and then also other dots, like, oh, I'm sorry, all the dots, like this is, that's, uh, you know, the uh, representing, representative, and, and then also here, you know, we have a big, uh, the, the, the some you know, partners in India. Uh, our uh, core competence is eddy current sensors, which is used for TSI type in supervised instrument. But you know the I would uh, the categorize uh, into the three domains. That's number one is a power plant. Sorry. Uh, power plant and the petrochemical mainly. But of course, you know, the, we do have some uh, steel and uh, the pharmaceutical, every, you know, the industries, but, you know, mainly uh, refinery or, you know, petrochemical or in you know, power. And uh, then uh, this is vibration monitoring for large turbine compressors, etc., and a small fan, a pump, and a uh, fin, those kind of things. And also, you know, the, uh, we do have industrial application domains, uh, linear rails, that's, uh, you know, the magnetic uh, floor, uh, the rail track, and uh, then Shinkansen, uh, the, our sensors, uh, you know, put underneath of the Shinkansen, Shinkansen goes fast and then taking out the, all the data uh, from uh, rail. And then also, uh, uh, rocket, the Japanese rocket, uh, and NASA's has, uh, you know, the uh, H2 rocket, and then our sensors goes in there and taking care of the vibrations for, uh, let's say, pump, uh, fuel pump. Um, satellite, uh, that's, uh, you know, the, our sensors uh, measure the, all the, you know, the angle, uh, those, you know, the satellite uh, kind of wing. Uh, also, you know, the special applications, lava, plastic film, I, I spoke to, you know, the uh, resistance applications like that, uh, that, uh, you know, the uh, taking care of uh, uh, the measuring some thickness of the film. And uh, steel mills goes uh, high in 600 uh, degrees C uh, because, you know, the st uh, steel iron. Um, 
the cryogenic uh, LNG pump that's uh, minus 250 or something, and um, magnetic bearings. So, you know, the, our technology, uh, like core competence, uh, the AD Cowan uh, stands for such, you know, the harsh environment, like, you know, the uh, high temperatures and very cold temperatures, high pressures. Uh, here is a, this is a you know, global share of displacement vibration sensors. Uh, see, uh, this one is from, uh, that's uh, OI Research. Oh, sorry. OI Research, uh, 2021. 2021. The Shinkawa is number four. But listen you know, carefully. Uh, we provide our sensor to other manufacturers, uh, you know, OEM, private level business. So number two, number three, is using Shinkawa sensors. Now you, you understand what the, you know, the market we have. Uh, see, this is over C is inter ins installation record, and red one is uh, more than 10,000 uh, installed here in the air, red. Uh, this one is product's roadmap. Uh, see, um, since the uh, 1970s, we had any kind of vibration sensors go to the, you know, the other industries. Eventually, we started TSI applications. Uh, that's why you know, we had uh, the monitor. We need monitors to watch out the, you know, the, the, the protection shutdown systems. And eventually, you know, the uh, uh, goes to the new generation monitoring shift to uh, later on I'm going to introduce. And then wire sensors. Uh, we introduce wire sensors, which is covering a BOP areas, right? And then to do it, have some, you know, the good the maintenance. Uh, analysis diagnosis systems, you know, the, we in introduce uh, the, you know, analysis and, and diagnosis softwares. And then we started the vibration report service as, you know, this is, you know, service and we provide all the, you know, report and uh, the online and offline, the both. And as I say, you know, the, uh, uh, right now we're going to have some, you know, the new generation monitoring system. To do that, we meet the customers, every stakes and every uh, friend, and then get uh, listen to the voice, and then get all the, you know, the uh, the correct all the, you know, the uh, their problem, and then they say they said safety integrated level certification is required, which is CIR2. Cyber security solution at the end users, and safety. Number of installations panels should be reduced. I think this is, comes from a cost uh, standpoint of view. The instrumentation panel should be thinner. Uh, answers is high densities and space saving. And minimize the stock spare parts. Of course, you know, the uh, customer wants to reduce you know, the, uh, the, those costs. And uh, then schedule time, lifetime cost. And uh, then long time, long life products uh, pre pre preferable. Some of the customers, nuclear customers, nuclear power plant uh, require 40 years life. Okay. And uh, then the answer is sustainability. Okay, and then, and we got, you know, the, those three, number one is slowly digitalized small, smart module, a functional safety and security features by certified design and interlock communication functions, new technologies. And those three goes to uh, reduced o and cost and reduced periodic inspections on the period. 
Here is a new generation monitors. Technical features, functions. Uh, like this is the image. Some front view is like covering, hold, you know, there's some protections panel, and then the operators needs to uh, unlock and then open up and then touch a fingerprint. And then here is the rear view, and all the you know the some uh, modules goes inside. Some like this, you know, the front side, all the different kind of modules goes there, and from rear side, some you know the uh, the relay, uh, the functions model, or you know the some you know the communication modules goes inside. Uh, <clears throat> here's a recap: a flexible system to configure for all rotating assets. Simple to complex. A functional safety, that's SEAL 2. API 670 compliance. Redundant communication for all interfaces. Reduced footprint and less space. Uh, that's, you know, the uh, <coughs> new generation monitoring and uh, later on Mukesh is going to introduce some application what we can do what the you know the uh, merit what the advantage benefit you get uh, but you know let me introduce some ideas this one is exploring to uh, some new way to maintain the see you know that this map, you know, the uh, main turbine, critical equipment, and auxiliary machines, right? we say secondary is sometimes, you know, the IDF, FDF, uh, BFP, uh, CWP, and uh, then also the next ray is balance of plant and pump, gear, fan, motor, compressors. And then no monitoring system, you know, the people doesn't care and then don't do any, you know, the, uh, some uh, the monitoring. See, now we get, we introduce TSI, as I say, that's, you know, protection's purpose. Protection, if something happens, you know, you will protect and the shutdowns and then save your important machines like turbine and, and compressors. And then we get uh, also, you know, the uh, <coughs> recovering or the, you know, the another, you know, the small fan and pump and the gears. And then we introduce wireless crowd systems and covering whole things, right? But now, what the customers gonna do? You know, they don't have any enough investment in fee and then doesn't have any you know the existing uh, TSI uh, the, uh, the or some you know the something covering a whole the BOP see the answers is uh, see why don't start simple way don't need any monies don't invest but just you know the buy some you know the inexpensive small uh, sensors and smartphone you have you can download from you know the app and then buy some you know the uh, some small software that's it uh, low cost installations and data storage and you can do alarm also and then the monitoring of remote, right? And then how to reach location monitoring. What the meaning is, you know, the, uh, if you have some, uh, you know, the cooling fan or something, the tall uh, place and it's very uh, dangerous to go over there every time, just put some shinkawa, small sensor on it, and then you have some uh, smartphone close there, get the, some, uh, you know, the data. 
and, and then just replacement of the vibration switches. Those you know, equipment usually you know, has some uh, you know, vibration switch, but you know, they just replace. Why don't you replace something like that? It's very easy and easy install. That's our proposal. And see, is, uh, you know, look at the, these, you know, the, uh, some uh, blue one on the, you know, the bearing case of the uh, pump and the fan. And, and then there is another, you know, the blue one. I'm going to show you that that's a small, you know, sensors with the battery. And it has a Bluetooth, right, and communicate the smartphone. If you have a you know, smartphone and across there and uh, within 40 meters and gets, you know, the data is there, and, and then eventually go up to the, you know, uh, the uh, dumping all the data to, uh, you know, the, our softwares, inex inexpensive softwares. Now, we would like to show the, some demo by uh, executive advisors, Mr. Matsumoto's, he's kind of cornerstone, cornerstones of you know the our relationship. Thank you, Mr. Fuji. Uh, introduce me so that uh, I want to show. I want to introduce uh, that very small wireless vibration sensor like this. It's a very small. It's a uh, forest people cannot see because of the very small, but uh, very capable. And also, uh, <clears throat> you see, the very small one, like this. So I just uh, installed the, uh, uh, our sensor in the rotor kit. So just bring the, my smartphone like this. Oh, OK. OK. And uh, unfortunately, the cable is very short. So that I'm standing here and uh, speaking. OK, and uh, just, <laughs> OK, I just here. OK, you can see the, the not yet? OK, it, that screen is uh, my iPhone, OK? I will try to the start the uh, application like this. We choose uh, uh, now the, this phone is connected to the four sensors, four small sensors. Uh, my, my small sensor here. <laughs> yes, this one. So I put the uh, one sensor is in a rotor kit. So that is, uh, this one is uh, Z2R18026. So we, I choose uh, this one, okay? So you can see the uh, uh, atmosphere temperature is uh, 24 degrees C. And uh, I try to connect this one. That I try to connect. Can you, can you uh, start the uh, rotor kit? OK, just, just wait, just wait. OK, start motor. Well, I f forget to start the button, <laughs> like this. I'm uh, a little bit nervous. <laughs> OK, just uh, start the motor. OK, any time you can take the data from that uh, small de wireless device. Every one second, we can t get the uh, vibration uh, signal and uh, correct in this device. And also, we can send to the uh, cloud and uh, see anywhere the waveform from the uh, any computer from any computers. And also, we can connect to the, our analysis device. Okay. Analysis uh, software, Infosys 3.0. Uh, so anyone, you can easy to analysis and uh, uh, diagnostics of the machines. So uh, after that, uh, you can see the, uh, that corner. If you go to the, that corner, you can see the, that the devices. 
Okay, you can see the very much uh, live signal collecting and the show every time. Very easy. Install and uh, press button, you can see the vibration. That is uh, my uh, demonstration. Thank you very much. <laughs> please, uh, ch please change. The so next one is a mistake of the Forbes Marshall turns. So Mr. Mukesh is uh, 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 introduced the, the uh, <laughs> introduced uh, uh, application of the uh, our new generation monitor, and uh, also they uh, they introduced the uh, uh, our. Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa uh, business close in uh, in the market. Please, your turn. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> so I would like to again add my thanks to everyone for coming and gracing this function and appreciate uh, uh, Shinkawa team coming from Japan and uh, giving their valuable time here. I think the, the journey which we went through is uh, quite long and very emotional also for all of us because we never thought that we will reach at this milestone. And all of my colleagues here in Forbes Marshall who has put a lot of heart and hard work uh, with a lot of passion and emotions to grow this business. So thanks everyone here from Forbes Marshall who has put a lot of effort from branch, and everyone here on senior team also. So thanks once again. So on the, on the, uh, I think the, on this occasion, we have, I think just uh, Fujisan introduced the concept of the next generation monitor. I think it's going to be again a change of future of the business in India, where we today, we have a struggle to grow the business much bigger heights. So I think it will help us uh, in a bigger way to Indian market. And thanks again to Shinkawa Sensor Technology team who listened our voice and made this possible for to launch in Indian market as well. I think before than any Indian uh, global market. So thank you so much. So I think the uh, our monitoring system, what we do here uh, is we have the, all the rotating machines, either large or small one, either pump fan motors or the turbine or compressors. Uh, traditionally, we use VM7 monitoring system now. It's going to have a next generation monitor. Uh, still naming ceremony is pending, so we'll be doing that. We call it next generation monitor. And connected to this is a very smart and digitally enabled solution. And this will go into direct analysis and diagnostic software. And we'll be able to see remotely, either is Forbes Marshall expert or the Shinkawa expert sitting in Japan. So this is an integrated solution for large and small machine. Also, we can integrate in the plant and end user where they have non-Shinkawa monitor in their plant. We can integrate com combined non-Shinkawa system which is their plant plus the Shinkawa system into one platform. I think that's the uniqueness of the Shinkawa. Just couple, uh, one of the application which I just want to mention here, so you have a a uh, mach machine uh, which is in the field area where we have a, either compressor or a turbine or pump connected with the sensors and then it will be going, the data will be going from sensors to control room and this will be having the control panel and this will have a multiple, like Tom San mentioned, high density. So you don't need to have a lot of space. You can have less space in the control room and multiple monitoring system will be installed over there on the control panel and then further integrated to uh, relays and buffer outputs and 4 to 20 million outputs to DCS and PLC. Also, we'll have redundant communication, digital communication to DCS and PLC and then thereafter it get connected to our vibration analysis and diagnostic software platform. And again, we will have a condition monitoring team which is Forbes Marshall, level four and level three experts as well as Shinkawa experts in Japan will be able to monitor as and when required the support as well. And then uh, if we can back connect the same uh, 
monitoring system to the field with the one terminal. So when the startup and shutdown of the machine happens, the operator also going to see the data, uh, what is moving on. So complete uh, integrated solution, right from sensor uh, to monitoring system and complete control system and all the server integrations, as well as cyber secure compliance, uh, we are able to meet that whole uh, system because machinery protection system is directly connected to DCS. If the cyber secure is not there and this hacking happens, they can change the trip signal and then there's a possibility of the uh, machine trip. So I think cyber security is one of the critical parameters as well. Briefly, I think uh, Tom has mentioned, but we have multiple monitoring module. We have vibration monitoring module, which is uniform, universal module. We have a positioning monitoring module for the, all the expansion and then phase marker and speed monitoring system. So maybe more details we will share with you once we go forward. And similarly, we have reciprocating compressor monitoring module also for rod drop, rod position, and all, all the parameters will be monitored. And then we have temperature monitoring module, which will be RTD and thermocouple. Uh, the high density monitor also will be there as well. Uh, though what we are saying that the function safety, uh, high coverage rate, uh, again the same point. M one of the important points that I want to mention is the uh, between both the companies, we build the capability of analysis and diagnostic. So we had a, always been known as a high quality product supplier, but we are now expert in terms of vibration analysis and diagnostic, uh, which is the part of our team, as well as Shinkawa has built a large system in Japan as well. Also, we have solid support, Forbes, Marshall and Shinkawa. Uh, we, have, we are flexible to support our customers who are here. I think they can, uh, they can witness that today as well. Uh, we have a uh, complete wireless sensor. Today we have a demo here, live demos of our wireless sensor, our monitoring systems and all other product which you can see during the break. So we have the analysis and diagnostic system which is more than 200 places in India. Our customers are using it. Um, multiple plants, either power plants or refinery, steel plant, all of the places 200 analysis and diagnostic software is running which can be you know, seen or observed or checked by our, our customers. But I think 200 is large enough uh, to vouch for our performances of system. Uh, we have offline, so rather than some of the machine which Tom San was mentioning, small equipment that we don't monitor, or critical equipment when you need expert support, we go offline, we have our own uh, offline analyzer, we go to the machine, collect the data, and we can advise what's going wrong in the machine. So that's how we give a complete solution and not only just selling a product and going away from the sites. So that's another expertise we have. Uh, we do a training. Uh, we have a training system. We have an expert training. We have ISO certified training in Japan, as well as we have ISO certified training in India. So both the teams are able to, able to train our customers, our team members, I think, uh, I think that's a unique, neat uh, capability which we have built to train our customers and our own team, which is uh, level up than any other team right now. Next, which we have already built in Japan and also in India with online support. So what we are doing that if the customer is using their product in their premises and they want to connect uh, and have advice, we have a 24 by 7 data connected to diagnostic software, and we can monitor from multiple locations. Uh, the remote monitoring of the sites and machines can be done uh, together with Shinkawa and Forbes Marshall. Shinkawa already doing in Japan, and Forbes Marshall started off in India as well now. Uh, one of the concepts which uh, Shinkawa has uh, uh, shared with us is a DX uh, digital connected plant. So what we do is just to give briefly explain what it means, the blue color, what you see is already we have. So blue color where you have a various kinds of, we have a eddy current probes and turbine and compressor monitoring going to our Shinkawa analysis and diagnostic software. Then again, we have the uh, wireless sensors, network ZARC, eSwins, through wireless it is connected to our Infisys software which is in the cloud-based software. So this is all the blue color is what Shinkawa is offering as a vibration monitoring system. And uh, the uh, yellow color, or you can say, this get connected to a DCS and PLC, 
and also it get connected to Pi system or historian uh, and the management system. And then we are uh, now contemplating to build a new software package and uh, this is proposals and the development stage and we'll be doing the AI based complete plant wide monitoring integrated system as well for the customer. So uh, right from the sensors connecting to monitoring system is API 670, wireless system for the small machines and balance of plant machine connected to cloud and then finally bringing into uh, AI enabled uh, software uh, to global platform. This is the concept which we are working together as a Forbes, Marshall and Shinkawa. And one more thing, uh, one, one story which I keep telling that when we get the Shinkawa product in India, we don't find one short supply or we don't find one defective part. So I think we had to Shinkawa quality and the system which they, they have it actually. So thanks to Shinkawa sensor technology uh, team, which, which always say that once the product is coming from Japan is 100% guaranteed, no short and wrong supplies at all actually. So uh, just to give you the background, the point here is uh, this globally certified, if you see the name of this whole companies, uh, Aramco, Engrosel, Ren, Atlas Copco, Mitsubishi, Toshiba, Hitachi, globally best rotating machine manufacturers. All of them have certified including EIL in India as well as BHEL and Trivarian Siemens also. And we have the customers uh, who are the uh, many customers in the worldwide which we have a global customers like L&T and Japan, many, many customers, MHI, Chiyoda, Toyo, uh, JGC, all of them are right now you know, using Shinkawa product for the global projects and uh, for the end users. Uh, major, cus major OEM customers, I would say the, the beginning of journey, if you see the video, uh, 19, uh, 2003, the first large business, I think BHL is a pioneer to start the business, trigger point for us, but then thereafter, Trivane Engineering, then Siemens, LNT and LNT MHPS kept on taking and the many end users supported us to grow the business significantly. Just to give you a brief history, uh, this is how the journey went up. So we, uh, as Farad and uh, Frank San mentioned, the journey uh, started uh, 1983 and we can see that entire team of Forbes Marshall uh, worked together. Uh, it's not a one or two people effort, it's a complete teamwork which we work together. So first trigger point of NTPC BHL order and from there we took off and I think this year we are going to cross more than 100 crore business for the vibration mounting system and largest market share in India. So I think it says that the story uh, which is uh, really significant for us and uh, I would appreciate everyone who has contributed to this journey. The summary, uh, just to summarize the whole thing, uh, Forbes, Marshall and Shinkawa is, uh, uh, I think we are running in India more than 5,000 customers, proud customers and believe me, we don't have any complaint pending from any of the customers. So there's all the products are running smoothly on their machine. A high quality product of Japan, uh, I think that's a very important point. And uh, the Forbes, Marshall team, the know-how of application, engineering capability, integration capability and customer service. Uh, for the, all the requirement and training to the customer. I think this is a combination of high quality product and market knowledge and engineering capability and manufacturing capability came together and I think this is what is helping us to give value added to our customer. And the next generation monitor which today uh, Fujisan has shared will help us to trigger the new customer to build upon which is oil and gas and refinery and we will definitely try together to thrive the next uh, growth and we are poised to have next growth for sure and we'll celebrate again after 10 years, for 50 years. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fuji-san. Um, Masumoto-san and Mukesh-san for introducing our new products. Um, may I please now request um, Kanako-san followed by Daraya-san to speak about the future of our partnership. We will also be playing a short video now. Thank you.
It's a pleasure to meet you all. My name is Kanako Shinkawa of Shinkawa Electric. I'm very happy to be able to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa. It's thanks to you, our valued customers, that we have been able to reach this day. I would also like to thank President Farad Hose and everyone at Forbes Marshall for the amazing 40 years. I would like to take this memorable occasion to express my sincere gratitude for the opportunity to visit India for the first time. I joined Shinkawa Electric a year and a half ago. Until now, I worked in sales for a leading Japanese alcohol beverage manufacturer and PR for coffee and golf venture companies. Drawing on this experience, I'm now in marketing, where I promote the Shinkawa brand and products in a variety of ways, online and offline. The world has changed dramatically over the past 40 years. We work on laptops, we have mobile phones, we shop cashless, and meetings can now be done online. Convenience has become the norm, but we continue to search for new ideas, solutions, and challenges. In this environment, I believe that the most important thing is trust. Trust can only be earned through the strong relationships built between people. My hope is that our generation can maintain these valuable partnerships that have been passed down from my grandfather's generation. We have prepared a video of Shinkawa's manufacturing site. Please take a look. That was our manufacturing site. Our intention going into the future is to be sensitive to modern innovation and also pay respect to our valued long-time relationships and the Shinkawa tradition. I sincerely hope 
that we will be able to see you again on our 50th anniversary, as we have done here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kanako-san. Good evening and a warm welcome to all of our guests here today. The relationship between our two companies, Shinkawa Electric and Forbes Marshall, has its origins in the relationship between our two families, the Shinkawa and the Forbes family, but who have been so wonderfully supported by our own members in making the relationship what it is today. As you all have heard, the relationship has been built through immense hard work and immense trust. But most important has been the wonderful support and generosity that we have received from you, our customers. For me personally, both the country of Japan and our relationship with Shinkawa holds a special place. I made my first trip to Japan when I was 17. I had been fortunate to see a fair bit of the world prior to making this trip. However, this trip to Japan was particularly special for two reasons. Firstly, to see firsthand the wonders of Japanese infrastructure. Secondly, the incredible culture that lives in Japan. I still look back at it with great fondness as one of the most stimulating trips I took in my teenage years. The kindness, hospitality, and generosity that Shinkawa and its members showed us was deeply impactful for me, especially in those formative years. But above all else, I got to witness in Japan a commitment to perfection, but while simultaneously displaying the greatest amount of humility in every way possible. It is the lesson I keep closest to me and marvel at every time I'm fortunate to travel to Japan. And believe me, Japan has much to be proud of. As the relationship continues forward, our commitment to each of you is that the success of the last 40 years shall continue forward with our generation. We owe it to you, our customers, to continue supporting you with the same level of vigor and determination. With the continued focus on good service, world-class technology, and a deep appreciation for process knowledge, I am confident that we will continue to serve each and every one of you to the best of our abilities. I started by saying that our relationship was founded in its origins through our families. I will end by saying that the fact that we are both family businesses only strengthens our ability and resolve to keep this wonderful relationship intact for future generations. Once again, thank you for your support, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I would urge Divakar, Jatin, and Mihir uh, to come forward to call the customer for the, having their views uh, on this occasion. Please. Uh, good evening all, uh, I am Divakar Kanadi, I am uh, heading sales division for Mumbai branch. Uh, there are a uh, few important customers from Mumbai area. Uh, from Reliance, uh, there is a team, uh, HPCL, 
uh, Toyo Engineering and BPCL. So all of them have supported us uh, for the journey and uh, I thank uh, personally also thank uh, all of them. And I congratulate uh, uh, everyone at Forbes and uh, Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa for uh, 40 years of association. Uh, I now request uh, our customers to say a few words. Uh, if I can uh, request Mr. Fozdar to say a few words from Reliance. Hello. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Sinkawa San, Farhat San, Team Forbes Marshall, Team Sinkawa, my colleagues and friends from end user companies. First of all, all, congratulations for completing this 40 glorious years of partnership, Forbes Marshall and Singawa. It was heartening to see the inspiring, inspiring success story and reaching the milestones like 5,000 plus customers as on date. Reliance and uh, Forbes Marshall have long business relationship now for decades and we have been using various products from Forbes Marshall and have been enriched by the reliability and performance of the products. Though we have limited installation of the vibration solutions in Reliance, uh, recently we have been discussing with uh, your team and uh, Recently, we had a demo installation at one of our site at The Hedge, the POC kind of uh, installation, and which was completed very successfully and satisfactorily. And we are looking forward to have more vibration solutions in Reliance in future. I also acknowledge the sales and service support from Forbes Marshall and Sinkawa team, which is very important for end users like us. And uh, I wish Forbes Marshall and Sinkawa all the best for their future endeavors and looking forward to more strengthened relationship with Reliance. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fozar. If I can request uh, Mr. Yadav and Mr. Suresh Kumar from HPCL to share a few words. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Shinkawa, Mr. Forbes, and uh, families. Uh, I believe, uh, I think, so first of all, I would like to congratulate for the 40 glorious years. I think uh, your partnership will be uh, one of the things which everyone will look for that. Uh, and I think some in the future years also, I wish that your company will grow like this and you will achieve uh, much more milestones and much more new technologies you will give it to us so that we will use it in our installations and we will also be, will be benefited for that. Thank you and now Mr. Suresh. Good evening. Uh, first of all, let me thank the team for inviting us for this uh, celebration of 40 years of uh, Shinkawa and Forbes partnership. I, wish, I would like to congratulate the, both the teams for this wonderful partnership and uh, before I forget, the most important thing by takeaway from this is the trust between the two companies. So that, it shows that the patience and trust, uh, how it can lead to great successes. Uh, with respect to my own experience, I had uh, worked on Shinkawa system way back in 2009 when we got one Thomson compressor for net gas in our CCR unit in Vishakapatnam. And uh, I had worked very closely with that system, VM5 system, I believe so. And uh, road drop, all this adjustment we did with the Shinkawa engineer and uh, Thomason compressor engineer. After that, when I came to Mumbai refinery, I have again seen that four or five systems coming, recent our one more project, we added uh, three, four systems. Uh, we found that uh, in overall basis, we found that one viable and economically good competitor to Bentley system, which used to be earlier that uh, if a vibration system has to be there, it is Bentley. So at least now we got two equally good systems which can be utilized by customers. And with that, I will like to thank you for the team again. Thanks very much.
Thank you, sir. Uh, if I can request Mr. Thali from Toyo Engineering to say a few words. Yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, Team uh, Shinkawa and Team Force Marshal for uh, inviting us for this celebration. And on behalf of Toyo Engineering, I congratulate uh, Force Marshal as well as Shinkawa for their collaboration of 40 years. Uh, earlier, Toyo didn't have much experience of working with Shinkawa. I think there were only few occasions where we had worked, but uh, recently for some jobs, uh, we have worked with Shinkawa quite extensively. And uh, the support provided by their team, especially Mr. Shakti Solar and uh, uh, Sonal Madam, yeah, it was quite appreciable. And we hope uh, that this journey continues in future and uh, Shinkawa and Force Marshall grow more in this industry and uh, their growth continues. Yeah, thanks very much. Well, thank you, Mr. Thali. If I can request Mr. Dawal Mistri from BPCL to say a few words. Well, uh, good evening to all. Uh, I'd like to start by congratulating Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa for this glorious 40 years partnership. Uh, regarding our experience of uh, Shinkawa in BPCL, uh, though we have a very limited installation, uh, but the service provided by Forbes has been uh, really good. Uh, we uh, hope to have similar service support through our future. But the good thing is that uh, the new product is really intrigued us and we would like to have a much more detailed presentation by the Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa team at uh, our premises uh, so that we can explore these new technologies to the best of our use. Thank you very much. Good evening all, my name is Jatin Patel. Uh, we have a long business association with Thyssen Group. Earlier it was Uday. And Mr. Milind Kulkarni is with us today. So, uh, sir, if you can share a few words. Good evening. Forrest Marshall and Shinkama team and my colleagues, friends from across the industry. Uh, first, I take this opportunity to congratulate uh, Forge Marshall and Shinkawa team for 40 years of partnership. It's really difficult in this VUCA world to have 40 years of uninterrupted partnership. This indicates a good trust between these two organizations as well as a very good product also. And the credit goes to both the families as well as the employees. In last two, three years, we are seeing that Forge Marshall Shinkawa, this product is trying to enter into newer segments and they have done successfully and we are seeing the installations in oil and gas the product is catching up in reliability it looks to be a very economical product and customers are giving good feedback so we are sure it will have a great future one of the presentation slides indicated about the new product wherein they had said that the customers feedback has been taken and I can vouch for it one or two things I had talked with the Forge Marshall team and uh, one, must, uh, one more thing I would like to tell is that whenever I have come across Force Marshal Shinkawa team here, I have always found them to be very professional, very enthusiastic, and they are giving everything to the product they are selling. Thank you very much, and I wish all the best for the future partnership. Good evening, and I am here to uh, uh, ask three special partners to speak uh, about our association, uh, two from Bangalore region and one from Baroda region. Uh, firstly, I would like to uh, ask Mr. Lakshmi Narayan to speak about our association with BHL. BHL is a pioneer in giving Shinkawa an opportunity in India in the power sector. So may I ask Mr. Lakshmi Narayan? Good evening, everybody. And uh, I thank you very much for inviting me for this uh, um, marvelous moment of uh, 40 years of friendship between uh, Shinkawa and Forbes Marshall. It's really wonderful. Actually, when I came here, I was not aware of this story, actually, frankly speaking. I know about Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa. I've been he hearing about these two companies, but I never knew that they are so old and the uh, relationship is between generations. It's really amazing. <laughs> That's one thing I 
really liked in this program today. Now, coming to uh, this force martial products and Shinkawa VMS systems that we have been procuring uh, from 2000 uh, onwards, Shinkawa and uh, Forbes Marshall are uh, in, I mean, co quoting, giving offers to us. But we being a public sector, our uh, bid evaluation and all you people are aware. Uh, so we used to buy earlier from Bentley, like someone was mentioning here. Uh, so now we, I mean, like you can say that Forbes Marshall uh, has taken over more or less this one and now Megit is also there. These are the two people. And uh, I would like to mention about uh, the innovations that you've been doing in this uh, Presently, the last slides uh, attracted my interest because uh, basically I am now head of procurement, but earlier I was an engineering guy. So I was in, uh, I mean, communication and that's my field. So nowadays, uh, actually, if you see everywhere, wireless is becoming the de facto standard. The reason being that if, because I am from power, uh, power plant uh, uh, person, so there are a lot of wires, power plants, transmitters, we are, I mean, all these things. So basically the, uh, you can say that uh, wireless technologies uh, means you are having less wires and uh, more, less time to commission. So all that advantages are there. With that, the direction in which you are going, uh, this uh, whatever smart uh, transmitter, whatever you are showing, it is giving the data to your smartphone and from there you send to cloud or you come and uh, download to your uh, analysis system. That's, uh, that's the way now the trend is also, and the market is also. And uh, I think then to be in the market, you have to be doing the right uh, uh, requirements by the customers, what is the requirements that you have correctly captured and you're doing. And that is uh, very interesting, and I appreciate what uh, the efforts that you are putting in this way. And, uh, and actually coming to Japanese products, we all know here that Japanese quality and uh, that we are aware the quality is awesome quality. What, whatever you are buying from Japan never fails and always works. Maruti Suzuki car is one example. <laughs> Before that, <laughs> Suzuki car, you can just go with a Maruti Suzuki, it never gives you any trouble, something. So Shinkawa is one such. So Japan means we have a lot of respect and uh, keep uh, building that one. And uh, coming to Forbes, uh, this thing, it's a, I, I was just reading, Googling and seeing uh, Mr. Doria's uh, Forbes. Then I was seeing, he's an amazing personality I was seeing. <laughs> so, and actually that's what, it's a pioneer in this vibration. Uh, bo he's a boiler man, they were telling actually. So from there it started and all, it's a passion with which uh, yeah, he started and he was using and it's truly amazing and that's what you're bringing it forward. Thank you very much and congratulate you once again. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Uh, now may I request Mr. Amarjit Rastogi from Triveni Turbines to please speak. Triveni has been our very, very old partner in this technology and most of the Triveni Turbines are equipped with uh, Shinkawa vibration monitoring system. Rastogi, sir. I think uh, very good evening to everyone and, uh, and thanks to Shinkawa and uh, Pope's team. I think uh, first I congrats uh, for uh, celebrating these 40 years of togetherness. And if you talk about uh, Triveni, we have a very, very long association with them. I think more than two decades, what I know about that. And uh, this applied to us around more than 100 uh, uh, system every year to us. And uh, we never, we, which we got the feedback from our customers and also from our site team. We never face any issue, site issues, Till date on that part, and some issues that that their team is very very uh, well versed on that part. Then they resolve the issue very very fast. So once again, I thanks everybody. One thing more, I want to uh, tell about that: the pandemic situation. When really we faced a lot of issues, and they mix lights on of all the industries, and our customers are really really happy that they run their plant with the uh, VMS. We really afraid about that, what's going to happen after the pandemic, but uh, I really thank our team to support to us in this pandemic situation. And even on the, if we talk about semiconductor shortage, when the, every electronics industries are facing the issue, but uh, due to the uh, long-term forecast and uh, effectiveness of the supply chain, they manage it very, very well. So once again, I thank complete team of uh, Forbes and Sinkawa. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Rastogi, sir, for your kind words. 
Now may I request Ms. Kirti from Siemens India to speak about it. Siemens is also again a very important partner very uh, for us. Ma'am, please. Uh, a very warm good evening to all of you. Uh, my name is Kirti Ramchandani and I come from uh, Siemens Energy from the steam turbine unit from Baroda. And I also have my colleague Chirag Patel with me who has accompanied me for the event. So first of all, thank you very much uh, Team Forbes and Team Shinkawa for inviting us and making, a part, making us a part of this celebration. And uh, congratulations both for completing 40 glorious years of partnership. I'm from procurement and I have a 10 year long association with Forbes and Shinkawa. Being from procurement, uh, or probably anyone from procurement, uh, whenever we look out for business partners, we, have, we, we, we keep in mind three major aspects, which is cost, quality, and delivery. Of course, the technology goes unsaid. Technology is the need of the hour. When I, when I talk about prices and deliveries, uh, Forbes and Shinkawa have always been very, very, very supportive. But having said that, uh, there was a time, especially post-pandemic, even Sir mentioned about it, uh, there was a time where there were a lot of delivery issues uh, due to the semiconductor shortages for the reasons known to all of us. The entire world was sailing in the same boat. Uh, the supplies were delayed, but at the same time, even the projects were delayed. The customer had slowed down. So with the limited supplies, uh, we were able to cater our customers to the best possible extent. Uh, but one thing which is worth appreciating is the resilience with which Forbes and Shinkawa bounced back in the market. We had, um, I still remember those days when we had a lot of heated arguments. We had lengthy teams call, we had a lot of escalations. But, uh, you know, the patience uh, with which Forbes and Shinkawa manage the customers, that is worth applauding. We look forward to the same support, energy, and energy in near future also. And uh, again, thank you very much, and congratulations once again. Uh, all our good wishes are with, the, uh, with Forbes and uh, Shinkawa, and hope you celebrate many more years uh, of partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, we have here uh, Mr. Dhakate from Mahajanko. Uh, Dhakate sir was, uh, in fact, chief engineer uh, when he retired from Mahajanko. And over the years, he has handled performance optimization group of Mahajanko. Even after a Mahajanko, he has continued serving the power plants as a consultant. And I would uh, like to request Mr. Dhakate sir to speak few words for us. Hello. Hello. Uh, first of all, I should thank you for giving the opportunity to say something about as a as an customer review. Uh, we are having the multiple installations of various companies, just as is uh, one of uh, Shingawa and then uh, Bentley Nevada and Megit in all, uh, one of, many of them are power stations. But I also, I am also a field engineer actually working on the analysis and uh, analysis, vibration analysis and all these things on the rotating equipments. I feel that the system of Shingawa is very precise measurements given uh, we have war, what we are obtaining and reliable reliability is the another important aspect of the Shinkawa system and when we face the problem we always contact to the force marshal representatives uh, actually I also practice the vibration analysis in the other sectors other power, other power stations and power set that uh, chemical industry and all these things I was very happy to know that uh, wireless sensors are available with Shinka also because there are many, 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 many players who are having the triaxial vibration sensors with the cloud and uh, availability with the mobile and all these things. More, more, you can say the portable equipments. Uh, for that, actually, I face some problems. Uh, I, I will suggest that it should be the product improvement. As we should look at it as a product improvement aspects. Specifically, there is a no uh, phase measurement is there. So if it is possible to have the relative phase measurement, it will give a, around 90% uh, phase analysis also possible uh, with, the, with the system. And 
already i know that the this uh, portable sensor are also sense the temperature of the bearing pedestal or you can say uh, all these things so if it is possible again to do something on the acoustic ultrasonic acoustic measurement along with the vibration then it will be definitely useful to analyze much better and much better the health of the equipment so wireless one of the wireless wireless should be there and uh, ultrasonic measurement and uh, relative phase measurement is possible to introduce in this product one uh, one happy i am happy to understand today one thing is that uh, any multiple uh, you can say multiple manufacturer reverse compatibility with uh, our simple shinkawa system that uh, that is there so it is really possible because have, we are having some equipment with the shinkawa some equipment with the bentley or g as well g as well bentley and now it is g so it is we can have the much uh, spect wide spectrum of the utility of this uh, system so that any system it can be compatible with the uh, shinkawa that it will definitely help to help us as a customer secondly if it is possible to have some ai because uh, many of the end users like us don't uh, now don't have any knowledge about the vibration or uh, theory of uh, theory amongst the vibration then if uh, by understand the rule of vibration if you can convert into the physical activities as generally vibration experts do it do it, do it but uh, if we using the ai we can learn the machine behavior and uh, directly if it is converted to activity just as bearing replacement is as for example a spike energy measurement bearing uh, bearing for some such uh, recommendations for the bearing replacement or some recommendation for the alignment disturbance like that so it definitely it will be much 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 uh, digestible by the end customer thank you thank you for giving me an opportunity thank you dagade sir for your suggestions as well as our appreciation thank you thank you all it's always lovely to hear from our customers thank you divakar san mihir san and jitin san um may i now request the shinkawa team to join us on the dais along with farad san um satya san and datta san for an appreciation award from forbes masher request satya san and mehul san to give the vote of thanks good evening all want to thank all our customers and especially the customers who have graced today's occasion of 40 years of glorious partnership that shinkawa and forbes marshall uh, are celebrating today uh, we value your deep trust and partnership 
uh, and all the inputs that you bring in, uh, we heard many customers speak today, but also when we come and visit your plants, you uh, help us with all your insights, inputs, and challenges, and we value tremendously uh, the, uh, all these uh, inputs uh, which goes into product development. Uh, these uh, uh, successes which we talked about over uh, many, many generations has essentially three cornerstones. Uh, one is the reliability, which uh, we heard Mukesh talk about. Uh, second, the domain knowledge, which flows into uh, innovation, uh, which you saw in the products. And the support, which Forbes Marshall team provides you. We heard many stories about shutdown support at 2 o'clock in the, in the morning, uh, many, many challenges which our team has shoulder to shoulder worked with you all uh, customers and helped you maintain your plant at the optimal level. As we see the future and hear from all of you all, our customers, uh, the future is very exciting in India. Uh, from the market standpoint, we are looking at another 80 gigawatts of power plants coming in, refinery upgradation, which is very exciting. But old and new, any rotating equipment will need reliable measurements. And that is where uh, we come in. Uh, as the plants age and as they, as they grow older, it will need actually many more advanced diagnostics, process correlation, newer platforms, and digital technology to support you going into the future. Uh, as we see the future, it's very exciting with the new offerings which we talked about today, new technology, monitors, wireless, diagnostic platform, uh, and most importantly, the deep partnership with all our customers for decades to come. I thank you all, especially our customers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mehul. I think uh, for acknowledging all our customers who have made this evening so, more, so much more meaningful for all of us. Uh, as we started this uh, program in the evening today, a journey that started in 1983 uh, with Farad visiting Japan and meeting Shinkawa-san has successfully completed such a wonderful milestone of 40 years and is looking forward to many more. I take this opportunity to congratulate and thank everyone who has participated in this journey and shaped it over the years. I think listening to Farad and Shinkawa-san, one realizes that long-term vision and mutual respect are the cor cornerstone of this relationship. And we heard the secret of family business also, of perseverance, patience, and trust. I think these are some words that we'll carry forward from today's evening and will get ingrained in us going forward. I thank both of them for sharing their views so candidly and inspiring us. When specialized knowledge of vibration meets the leverage of industrial applications, success is what happens. And thank you, Tom Fuji-san and Mukesh-san for the great energy and enthusiasm that you have brought to this business. I think that enthusiasm and energy is the crucial ingredient of the success that we are seeing today. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Matsumita-san, for the live demo of the new technology. And I think it opens our eyes for what sensing the future means going forward. I think between all, we got a glimpse of the solutions of the future, which are ready to launch. And it's so good to see that it's not just products, but it's products plus services combined, which will impact the operations of all our customers such much, much more meaningfully than we are doing today. The foundation is strong, and the partnership can go strength to strength from here. Thank you, Kanako-san and Darius for sharing your thoughts on way forward and giving all of us the confidence that this partnership is for longer term and will only grow stronger from here. Thanks to all Shinkawa and FM team members for playing an important role in making this happen. All the senior management team members present here, especially all the branch colleagues 
who have so enthusiastically taken all these offerings to the customers and promoted them with a lot of enthusiasm. Thanks to Keku, who could not be present here today but has been guiding the business over the years and has been working along with Mukesh, and also Naushad, who couldn't be today with us at this occasion. And congratulations to all who have worked so hard to make this event also uh, go as successfully it has happened. Uh, Stanya, Sulba, the entire Insol team members who have worked very hard to make this happen. So thank you all of you for making this event such a great uh, pleasure for all of us to take back memories of. Thanks once again to all the customers for whom we are striving to serve and this entire partnership of Forbes Marshall and Shinkawa is here to ensure that the 5,000 number keeps rising and we keep serving you in a better and bigger manner. Thank you, everyone, and we look forward to joining all of you for the cocktails and dinner following this ceremony. Thank you. May I now invite the Forbes Marshall Shinkawa group onto the stage? Thank you. Um, may I have Frank, Frank San and Tom San on stage, please? Thank you. Thank you all for being part of today's celebration and an integral part of our journey. 
I now invite you all to join us for dinner. Thank you.